everybody! <laughs> I don't know if you maybe could figure it out from the intro where I am at the moment. I am in our cottage in the mountains or close to the mountains. Finally! <laughs> I have been longing so much <laughs> to come here to the cottage and spend some time in the mountains. The last month I have been planning to go like every week but then something have come up and then I've been like okay I go next week and then it's just the time has just passed but but now I am here <laughs> and uh, I'm here alone uh, so I'm not here for the honeymoon as we talked about earlier me and Juan wanted to go here to the cottage after our wedding and just you know spend some time here having some vacation uh, but we we want to wait with that vacation until we really feel that we can take some time off when things have calmed down a little bit so I am actually here to work. I have brought all the things I need, like all my camera equipment, my computers, my hard drives, even my whole music studio and microphones and, and my nickelharpa, the instrument, so that whatever inspiration comes to me when I'm here, I'm gonna be able to do it and work with it. It's been like a tradition for me every autumn to go to the mountains and there's like no other place that inspires me so much as this place. So for me it's like the perfect combo to go here because I both feel like I'm on the best vacation ever because I'm surrounded by all this beauty and I don't know, I just get so much inspiration and I just feel very good to be here. Uh, but also I get lots of inspiration for films and photos and you know, everything. It's just like a boost in a way. But this is the first year that we have our very own cottage where I can stay. And that feels still a little bit too good to be true. Before we had the cottage I, I stayed in motels or hotels or slept in my car. But then I couldn't really stay as long as I wanted and I couldn't sleep in the car for too long because you know I needed to charge the cameras and everything. But now I have this, like the cooziest cottage ever and I can stay for as long as I want. The only problem is that we have no internet here and I tried the first day I came here I spent the whole day trying to get internet because I had bought this kind of um, mobile router but this cottage is in uh, like a radio shadow you can't get no signal here <laughs> so the first day I came here I was really frustrated because I was counting on that I would be able to have internet here because of this router and that I could, you know, work from here and upload things and, you know, <laughs> keep the flow. <laughs> but when I finally accepted that I won't be able to upload anything from here and wait until I get home, it kind of felt good in a way. Because normally whenever I'm done with something, a film or a photo or whatever, then I just share it immediately. Now I can just take my time and work on whatever projects I work on and just let them grow a little bit. <laughs> just see what comes. I don't have to hurry with anything and and for some reason I think it's kind of meant to be to have no internet here because it's not until I'm disconnected from internet that I really realize how much time it takes to always be connected, to always hear those notifications and everything. Ah, it's so stressful. I really appreciate the simple life here in the cottage. We have no water, we have no bathroom, <laughs> we have no internet, but it, in the same time it feels like we have everything. <laughs> and I think it's really interesting to be alone in such a place, even though I'm, I'm used to be alone a lot, especially before I met Yuan. But it's totally different things if you are alone but you still have your daily routine, you have internet and you're connected to everything and everyone. <laughs> but being in a place like this alone and you have like no distractions, then you are really alone with yourself. You really get to know how you feel, how you think, you get so aware of yourself and your mind and how you're really doing. And you can't escape from it because I think or I'm sure that <laughs> the TV, the phones, the internet, the computers, all of that is distracting us from ourselves. So whenever we feel something that we don't want to feel we just take up the phone and <laughs> scroll through Instagram or whatever just to keep our mind busy so we never have to sit with ourselves and feel <laughs> our shit. I don't even know how to explain. 
When I first came here a few days ago, I was really stressed because uh, the first thing I did when I came here was to write down a huge list of projects and things that I wanted to accomplish while I was here in the cottage. And it felt like my time here was like a ticking bomb. Even on the first day, I felt like my time was running out. I couldn't sleep the first nights because I was so anxious and stressed out. But then one morning, it was four in the morning, I just rise up from the couch and was like, no, this is enough. <laughs> so I just went out in the sunrise and it was the most beautiful foggy morning. And then I hiked up on a mountain later that day and I meditated and then I took a swim in the river and then I felt much better. So it took me a few days to really find a rhythm here, but now it feels much better. I enjoy every second of being here and I don't feel stressed about time running out. So I'm spending my days filming and doing photography and going to different beautiful places and creating music and, you know, different, many, many different projects at the same time. And I'm usually out from early morning until evening when the sun goes down. And I'm still not really used to the sun going down so fast now. I mean, during the summer it's light all night, now it's dark by nine in the evening. And that always feels so weird in the beginning that I don't have the whole night to film because it's dark. So then in the evenings I'm just here in the cottage, just having a really nice time. I'm editing films and photos and creating music or reading a book or making some very simple dinners. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just living the life right now, doing what I love every day in this beautiful place. Even though I miss you one very much and uh, Nanok and the cats. <laughs> we have only had this cottage for 10 months now. And we have not been here much at all since we bought it. But still it feels so much at home to be here. It feels very comfortable. It's very strange though that it feels so, you know, comfortable and so much at home. Because all of the stuff in here belongs to someone else. The man who had this cottage before we bought it, he got Alzheimer's, so he lost his memory. So he just left this cottage one day and he just never came back again, I guess, because he got too sick. Everything was just kept away as he left it. Of course, it's a bit strange to, to buy a cottage and all the things is still left from someone else. And he's not aware that we have it now. But it hasn't felt bad in any way. It's actually the opposite because I don't know this man. I have never seen him before. Well, there's photos of his parents on the wall, <laughs> so I know how they look. At least I think it's his parents. And they look very kind, especially the woman. It feels like you get to know a person through the stuff that they have. When looking at all these things that he have here, at least most of them, I just love them. He seemed to be a very good man and he had a very good style <laughs> because this is how my dream cottage looks like, I think. It's most of the things here are so beautiful. You can really see from the stuff in here that he loved being out in nature. He picked a lot of berries and 
he has all these old beautiful maps from the mountains so I guess he spent a lot of times up in the mountains and also he had lots of warm clothes like the last winter I spent the whole winter wearing his clothes because he had so good you know socks and long stockings and sweatshirts that were really warm well everything is in a huge size but that doesn't really matter I think we are actually kind of similar because you can see that he also loved old beautiful stuff and I love that as well. I love things with an history, like things from back in the time. And he was even collecting stones, so you could see like stones everywhere in the windows outside and that's exactly what I do as well. So I hope that if he would have known that me and Yuan would take over his cottage, that he would think that was good. And there's one thing in here that I thought was a little bit funny or weird. Uh, there's a painting on the wall. Well, he has a lot of beautiful paintings here. But one painting was uh, this blonde girl in a white dress out in the mountains or in nature. And when I saw it, I, I said to you, I'm like, look, <laughs> it looks like one of my photos almost. Because I very often take photos of myself in white dresses in nature. That's kind of my photo style. <laughs> And uh, I just thought it was funny. I took it as a sign that it was meant for us to have this cottage. Now I'm gonna take the car and drive to the closest city, uh, which is called Saxnas. It's a beautiful little town among the mountains and yeah, it's just beautiful there. And they have a, a tap for water, so I go there once a day to to get some drinking water. They also have a, a grocery store there. And they also have good phone and internet connection. So I can go there and check the emails or post on Instagram or whatever, so that's good. So I'm not completely disconnected. I can still, you know, keep up with the most important stuff. I don't know exactly how long time I'm gonna stay here now, but definitely a few more days. I'm not done here yet. So my beautiful friends, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, I see you soon again. Mwah. Bye bye.